Everyone, it's Nick with Us versus Her. Today was kind of a bad news, good news situation. We're going to be talking about the GDP number. We're going to be talking about Apple, Amazon. We're going to be talking about the S&P. But first, if you do me a big favor, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of these types of videos. I definitely would appreciate it. So let's 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 get into what happened today. So today I did trade ES futures today, made about 400 bucks um, earlier this morning, but I didn't I didn't tr I didn't get in on this um, you know the spike. I actually did short this dip. So the dip did come here uh, this morning when we had that GDP that GDP miss. So gross domestic product fell 0.9% and annualized pace for the period according to the advanced estimate. That follows a 1.6% decline in the first quarter and was worse than the Dow Jones estimate for a gain of 0.3%. So it was a huge miss on GDP. And technically, if you have two consecutive quarters of negative GDP, that's what would you qualify being in a recession. However, you got you know the White House and Biden and all of them saying, "Hey, we're not in a recession. We're not in a recession, right?" So none of that, none of that was happening. Okay, so they think, "Hey, we're not in a recession. Maybe we're in a recession. Maybe we're not in a recession." But technically, we did officially had two back-to-back -back quarters of negative GDP, and then right around, right around this is Central Time, so right, right around nine, nine thirty this morning. I actually stopped trading at like nine fifteen this morning Central Time, and that's when we had the big reversal. Because honestly, it was a, it was a bit, it was a bit tricky today. No lie, no lie. I mean, we out the gate, out the gate, we were, we were ripping down, right? We were ripping straight down, and then we had a massive, a massive spike, and it, and it kept going, it kept going, it kept going. You know, it's it's still going. It's still going. And right now, I mean, we we actually cleared on the S and P. We cleared the 50-day moving average, and we've been holding it. And now we're making it a, a run. This is the 100-day moving average. We're making a run towards the 100-day moving average right now. Nasdaq, uh, pretty similar. Nasdaq's actually because of the tech stocks reporting, which we'll talk about in a second. Nasdaq is actually breaching the 100-day right now. So like, is you know. Is the bottom in? It's hard. It's it's hard to say. I mean, we got we got some we got some major resistance here. Two hundred day moving average is quite a ways away for all major indices, right? So we'll kind of see how 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 it goes here. You know, Bitcoin's ripping as well. I mean, everyone's kind of playing ball right now. I'm not. I'm I, for me, honestly, I'm not getting too excited because, I mean, we 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 know how that we know how this goes. I mean, we we've seen some massive risk before, and that lasted weeks, and then it was months of you know, turmoil, disaster, disaster. So I'm not, I'm not getting too, I'm not getting too excited here. Um, also today, the house passed the bill to boost us chip production. So chip stocks, you know, look at Nvidia, MU, AMD. So we're going to try to compete with, with China. Also Biden had also a call today that was over two hours long with president Xi today. So looking at the chip stocks, we know that Nancy Pelosi did sell some for a loss 300 grand loss but you know she's man she's managing risk i'm actually i'm actually surprised i'm actually surprised you know i mean we thought it wasn't going to pass because nancy sold her shares but it did pass so i mean i'm expecting possibly nvidia if it could break out of like the 180 here potentially going to 195 is what what i'm looking at here so try to put like try to push the 100 day moving average like the s p and the nasdaq are right now see if we can break out of here see if we can get some see if we can get a little momentum on some of these chip stocks now that that, that now that that happened now a um let's see amazon so going into amazon so amazon reported earnings and this is this is insane right now amazon is insane but this this is Kind of shows like a little bit of good news. I mean, it was they had a great quarter actually. You know, a little bit of good news right now, especially in this market, is going a long way because we, we, like I said this morning, we had the negative GDP back to back quarters, negative GDP, recession, 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 and you know, um, Walmart earnings were bad. Uh, you know, I mean, well, actually, Walmart didn't have earnings. Walmart guided down way ahead of earnings, and Amazon took a hit, but Amazon came in, there. they did lose 20 cents on EPS, but they did beat on revenue, 121 billion versus 119, Amazon Web Services beat, advertising beat, so they had a revenue growth of 7%, Amazon said it expects to 
to post third quarter revenue between 125 and 130 billion, representing growth of 13% to 17%. Analysts were expecting 126 billion, 126 billion. So, despite continuing inflationary pressures in fuel, energy, and transportation costs, we're making progress on the more controllable costs we referenced last quarter, particularly improving the productivity of our fulfillment network. So Amazon shaved its headcount by 99,000. So they did cut jobs last quarter, as you remember. I mean, everyone's cutting jobs and they're trying to control, they're kind of trying to control what's going on here. They also, last quarter, they also recorded a 3.9 billion loss on Rivian, which was, you know, another disaster on the books here. Ad revenue climbed 18% in the period. So, I mean, Amazon's ad business is, 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 looking, is, is looking up. Now, looking at some of these pricings here, on, on these so right now this the expected move on Amazon was seven dollars seven dollars and this is now up this is now up like fifteen dollars so we're at double the expected move on Amazon this is something that I'll be looking at tomorrow if you are new to options trading and you're looking to get more involved link is below in the description for a promo code to the UVH Academy it teaches you everything from beginning to end and becoming a options trader so check that out link in the description also links in the description for our discord and our trading group on facebook if you want to join those but looking at the pricing here on amazon i mean so the expected move was seven dollars 72 cents right now these the the 135s were going for like 40 cents i mean so the market the market was is absolutely blindsided by this right now so it's double the expected move these these options are going to be up four or five hundred maybe even more percent tomorrow this is going to be this is going to be crazy on amazon like amazon apple too we'll see we'll check out apple apple in a second here but amazon i mean right now if we're looking at the chart so we're opening at 137 you know clearing the main thing clearing this resistance 125 was resistance we did have is back in june and then again back in july it just could it just couldn't it just couldn't clear it now we're going to be gapping up if it stays if it stays here we don't we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow but as of right now if it stays above basically 130 we're going to be clearing the 100 day moving average and potentially filling this gap back in here that was that was uh, on their last earnings so the last earnings here back in april you know this thing fell from basically 140 down to 130 and then it just cratered all the way down to 100 i mean this thing in a matter of weeks lost 40 percent. i mean this this is this is this is wild this is this this is wild so you know looking at looking at that fill this gap right in here Coming up to 140, if it can hold, stay above the 100 day. I mean, I'm not saying all time highs. We also have to cross the 200 day, but things are looking up for Amazon. Amazon is also, you know, guiding up, and they're saying, "Hey, we're, we're, we got control over the situation." Sure, 99,000 people got la laid off. We're controlling inflation costs. They were the sacrifice, but now the business is headed in the right direction. I wonder what other companies are, you know, kind of doing doing something similar. Let's look at Apple. Apple right now exploding as well after hours right now at 163 closed at about 157 and apple reported their earnings here they did not provide a formal guidance it says in terms of an outlook in an aggregate we expect revenue to accelerate in the september quarter despite seeing some pockets of softness so <laughs> I wonder who's writing this copy. We saw we saw pockets of softness. I mean, I, I read that like in the Tim Cook voice. Pocket, you know, I don't even know how to say it, but pockets of softness is is the new term now. We're experiencing, and they even hear accelerate. They even put in the headline here: accelerate despite pockets of softness. EPS dollar twenty versus one sixteen, so they beat on EPS revenue, beat on revenue as well, eighty three billion versus eight eighty two billion iPhone 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 revenue came in at 40 billion versus 38. I mean killing it services they missed on that but um, by, by by a slim margin there. Other products revenue 8 billion versus 8.8.8.86. Mac revenue down 10%. They also had iPad revenues down 2%. And then gross margins, 43% versus 42%. So, I mean, honestly, it's pretty good. I wish they would have provided guidance, especially as we head into the second half of this year. 
But I mean, I think we can get some good deals, um, you know, potentially on these stocks, you know, whether their calls are puts tomorrow, but Apple during this whole sell-off has been particularly strong. And now it's at 163. This would, this is epic. This would put it, if it opens up tomorrow, this would put Apple above the 200 day moving average. It hasn't tried to reach this since um, May. And now we're in July. We would actually be breaching above the 200 day moving average. So it, this is, this is interesting. Also, Apple has a very, 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 very strong cash position as well. But looking at the options here, the expected move on this was $5, and right now we're trading at $8. So a little bit above the expected move. You had the 165, so right now it's trading at 163. You had 165, so not as good. Like Amazon pulled a double. Amazon pulled a double-double. This one just a little bit over the expected move. So I still expect to get, see some a premium crush, especially on some of these outskirts here. But... but you know, you could have got the 165 for 30, 30, 34 cents. You know, so the, the in the money options that obviously they're going to be up, but they're not going to be up nearly as much as Amazon's. But I think there's going to be some good opportunities here. Start building up some bases if we can get, you know, make maintain the good news. I mean, the, the economy is strong. We just had two back to back GDP numbers. Unemployment is still relatively low. We are going to get some reporting in the morning. You know, we're going to have PC, PCE inflation index. We have Chicago PMI. Um, so just be mindful. I don't even know, like University of Michigan, like they, like this is like a lot of these bad news. A lot, a lot of these reports have been causing us a lot of damage, even though like University of Michigan, like, you know, interviews 300 people. And, you know, that's for some reason, the consumer sentiment index, you know, stuff like that. So uh, anyways, you know, just just be careful. I mean, honestly, it's it's, it's exciting to to start trading some bullish momentum it's exciting to start seeing some trends broken above the 100 day above the 200 day moving average that's exciting for me but i don't want to get too excited because all this could be i mean we've seen in the past it could be all gone in an instant it could be over right so let's, let's just let's be, be mindful let's trade these stocks let's look, look at the tech stocks let's look at the chip stocks amazon apple nvidia amd MU. Let's go into the weekend profitable. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.